Pokemon, like most RPGs, take their creature creation from mythology. However, Pokemon is one of the few franchises that expands out of theology and mythology into the realm of pop culture. Would you be surprised to know that... Well, no, not exactly, but Staryu and its evolution Starmie do carry a lot of inspiration from the two titular alien himself, Ultraman. When it comes to its uh, anime cry being similar to Ultraman's battle cry, Cry. And, as well as when Staryu is defeated, the gem on its chest flashes similar to Ultraman's color timer. And the color timer is... When the timer on his chest changes from blue to red, Ultraman's energy will last for only three minutes. But it doesn't just stop there. Um, not only does that noise, the um, color timer noise, make its way onto Staryu's um, anime counterpart, but it also makes it into the video games. Whenever your um, HP hits low, you'll often hear the color timer noise itself. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. You, you know, you've heard it. And though there is no proof to it, one could even say that the Pokemon Gigantamax and Dynamax animation is inspired by Ultraman's Ultra Rise. After all, it does, it is a Pokemon slowly growing bigger and bigger and bigger surrounded by a red aura. But hey, that's just a few observations and where Pokemon and Tokusatsu intersect. Um, I will have more episodes like this in the future. Oh, BTW, in case you just want to chat and talk about Tokusatsu, or Pokemon in general, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I do casual Pokemon raids where I just play the game, chill out, and see what happens. If you'd like to come by, um, that's something I also do on the channel besides Garou reviews. Anyway, I will see you all around the Milky Way.